a demand style sprayer pump like this is supposed to shut off when you let go of your trigger wand or when all the valves on the discharge of the pump are closed. My pump is not doing that, so we need to determine why that's happening. What is happening is when I let go of my trigger wand, the pressure gauge dial is jumping up and down. This means that the pressure switch is working because it's shutting the pump off, but somehow the pressure is dropping inside the system, so the pump is getting turned back on. Spray. You can hear the pump is running. When I let go of the trigger, the pump shuts off. If we look at the pressure, it's stuck about 45 pounds. Pull the trigger. It drops. it shuts off. Now we know that the motor runs when the pump is turned on and we know the switch is actually shutting the motor off but somewhere either a leak or in the regulating valve, liquid is still getting through. Even when this regulating valve is closed and nothing should be bypassing back to the tank, the system is not trapping pressure, so it never reaches the shutoff pressure of the pressure switch. As you can see when we look in here, even though we've gotten this tightened down as much as it'll go and all these valves are closed, there is water bypassing still, which is the reason you're hearing that cycling sound. So I took apart the regulating valve, which is pretty simple. Once you have it disassembled from the sprayer, you just take off, just take off the top, which is the adjustment knob. There is a tiny little pin that you can punch out. And you can take out this plunger, which is actually what is underneath here as you tighten it down pushing it that way against this spring and plunger so as the spring compresses compresses it forces this plunger here down inside here to seal up that port which is coming out of our pump As this opens to let water flow, it's going to bypass out here and then through also to our pressure gauge here. But there does not seem to be residue buildup here, no damage. Looks like it's keeping its shape. I'm going to clean everything up, put it back together, and see if we can get it to work. cycling so quick. It's happening a little bit slower. I was able to get this down to a little bit less of a drip maybe, but it's still not quite sealing up. So I think that's our issue. All right, a final test here is we've plugged off the port where we have our regulating valve where it was. We plugged it off, pump's running, water is pumping into this bucket. If I shut this off, the pump should completely shut off, and it does. So we know the switch is working, pump is working fine. We know it's a regulating valve. Unfortunately, cleaning it up 
even though it looks good, it's not shutting off. So I might try to clean it a little more with soapy water, let it dry overnight, see if we can get it to shut off. But as of right now, I'm fairly confident that is the issue. Yeah, pump seems to be working fine, so we need to revisit the regulating valve. Probably just needs to be replaced if it can. So I got my new pressure regulator to install here on the sprayer and make sure that that fixes the issue with the pressure switch not shutting the pump motor off. This bottom is the inlet. This is the part where fluid from the pressure side of the pump would come in. This knob adjusts your pressure. If you close it all the way down, that pushes the piston down and keeps any fluid from coming through here. So that means that we are operating at our highest pressure because we're not letting any fluid bypass back to the tank. If we open this all the way up, you're opening this valve so more fluid is gonna go back into the tank. Therefore, you're gonna have a lower operating pressure. The old regulating valve, the outlet, I have this barbed fitting. There's no hose on it. It just sticks down into this hole and fits in there nicely. So we're gonna take that out and put it in the new one. Okay, new pressure regulator is installed. I've got the valves off, but power is to the pump. So pressure switch is working, motor is not running. If we open, we should turn on. It's pretty low pressure because we're just open flowing back into the tank here. But we're set so that when this shuts off, we get nearly 60 PSI, which is what the pressure what we're dialed into. It shuts off. So everything's working. A new regulating valve was the solution.